Today, in the kitchen, we are making a friendship drama sundae. Step one. Start with two scoops of ice cream to represent two best friends. Together forever. Two scoops of BFF. Step two. Let's heat things up and pour on the hot fudge. Crank up the heat as high as you can because this hot, hot fudge will test this friendship real good. Burn, baby, burn. Step three. As the fudge cools, gossip about the Sunday. Write mean things about your Sunday in a note and pass it to someone other than the Sunday. Make sure the Sunday sees you giggling and passing the note. Step four. Host a birthday party and do not invite your Sunday. Pour salt into the wound by laughing about it and pouring salt onto your Sunday. Step five. Since more people have been added to this drama, add more scoops. As the drama spins out of control, so should the amount of scoops in your dish. Your friendship was based on ice cream, but by this point you can add any and all scoops. Don't discount your canned meats. Step six. Top your friendship with fake apologies. Sorry. The idea is to make your friendship someday look pretty, but taste pretty awful. Use inedible things like glitter, thumbtacks, or glue. Step seven. Ask your Sunday, are we still friends? Are we still friends? If the answer is no, complete with cherry. If the answer is yes, find an item the Sunday values most. Break it in front of the Sunday. Insist it was an accident when it clearly wasn't. Then complete with cherry. Build your friendship Sunday with this kind of drama and it will quickly melt into bitterness soup. For a friendship Sunday without all the drama, follow this recipe. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. Forgiveness is the cherry on top of any good friendship.